Hey everybody, this is Hatmaster here and I'm recording uh, a video for YouTube. I think I'm gonna play... Uh, let's go, let's go Kumba. Please don't be a hunter. Ooh. You know, now I kinda wish it was a hunter. Alright! We are against Osiris. I hate fighting Osiris so much because his passive is way too good. It's so much mitigation. Fighting Osiris is like nearly impossible, but if we get Soul Reaver online, maybe. All right. If he goes Warrior's Blessing, Grunic Shield, I am going to be sad. Because if he, Warrior's Blessing, Grunic Shield would make me not be able to do anything for like the first eight minutes of the game. It's not that I can't win, it's that I won't be able to do anything for the first eight minutes of the game. I can go Beads or Sunder. Let's go Sunder. All right, I haven't uploaded a Kumba video since the Guardian Gauntlet, so we can show off some tips and tricks with him. However, most of his tips and tricks are most useful against mages and or some hunters. He's bad against certain hunters, but he's okay against others. But against Osiris, Osiris will shred my passive. I can't fight him, I can't get away. It's just not gonna be good. The best thing is I have attack speed reduction, but I don't even know if that'll help. Warriors Blessing Berserkers, I guess that's okay. Jeff. Okay, he's used that ability three times, I believe. He's used it three times on me. Kumba has pretty good clear if you're able to keep the minions aligned properly. Might as well use tier one sunder because there's no use to holding on to it. I didn't hit him, unfortunate. Took a tower shot for nothing. <sighs> it's a diamond border, Osiris. What are the chances? I'm going to say... There's a 30% chance I win. If I get ahead, I'm gonna say there's a 50% chance. And if he's focusing me, I'm literally just gonna die. I have no idea why I didn't get, like did his, he, I thought he used his three on me, did it like not stay? Oh my God, he's using so many abilities. Cyrus mana costs are nothing and his cooldowns are even less. At least we're doing an okay amount of damage to him. I should be saving my abilities when his passive's down, maybe. Alright, let's back up. He's way too dangerous right now. Right now his passive's full. He is not gonna take very much damage because of his mitigations. Oh, you got out of that, huh? Come on, just use your auto attacks. Get out of that form. You know you want to get out of that form. This is all. Oh god. All right. Okay. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? I mean, I guess it damaged me and it kind of forced me out, but there was no kill potential. Or he did it to get back in his his passive form. Ooh. I think that's what he did. Ow! Okay. I can survive two more of those, but he's almost out of mana. Could I get a glass? There, I'm out. I'm out. Have fun clearing wave. I'm out. I'm gone. Goodbye. Um, we'll do this, and then we'll upgrade this. Stop scaring me like that. Oh, God. This is... This is something else. I've never thought about this matchup. I'm doing way more damage to him than I thought, but I think that's because he's going Berserkers, which is physical defense. And a lot of the damage I've been doing to him is when he doesn't have all pieces of his ultimate, or his passive, I'm sorry. And for those that don't know Osiris' passive, every time he uses an ability, he loses a fragment of his body and it gets mitigation. And then he has the haste effect for a couple of his autos. And then once he uses those autos, he resets his passive. So like right now you can see his arms are glowing. So that's why the amount of mitigation he has. I don't know the exact percent off the top of my head because I don't play Osiris too much. Okay. He is using Osiris ult. It's nothing. It's ult him so he's in the middle of our minion wave. Try to get him into our minion wave as much as possible. Okay, that was a good fight. That was a good fight. We can use mana a lot. Uh, nah, just a Kumba game. Oh, can we take red buff? He backed fast. All right. 
That was the back as fast I've ever seen. Oh no, these minions. The minions come to spoil the party. I don't know if we'll get some cool slingshots in our one. Uh, Kumba's one, it throws the minion the way your camera's facing, so you can do some cool slingshots. But uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do that in this game, specifically. I'm pretty sure I gotta go back here. I can't stay for this minion wave. I will die. Oh, he's gonna try and stop my back. I will back all the way over here so you don't stop me. Actually, now I can stay because minions are already basically in my tower. I have my passive too, so if he tries anything, chances are I will live. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, Glad Shield. I do like Glad Shield on Osiris. Ah, uh, gonna get pen boots. Oh, we need to finish this. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll save the gold. Well, no, 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 no. Sorry, this is bad. <laughs> Using his escape to go back to fountain's bad, but we need a health chalice. Uh, I am gonna value pen boots here just because it is Osiris and all the natural protections. Kumba Karna needs pretty much full cooldown to be viable in duel. So that's gonna slow my cooldown down. Slow my cooldown down, okay. Uh, but it'll give me some more damage. With that upgraded Sunder, we might be able to one-shot him right now. Right now he has no magical defense. Did I really miss that archer? He's no magical defense right now, so if we're gonna one-shot him, this is the time to do it. Or almost the time to do it. Passive, give me strength! Yeah! That's that's kind of like a one-shot, right? It's kind of like a one-shot. I don't know if I would have gone for that if I didn't have my passive. Very nice, very nice. Let's go get our blue buff. That way we have more gold when we back. How much do we need for Bancrofts? Yeah, we should have enough when we go back. Oh, are my autos decent? That was weird. It was like doing my first two auto attacks, but not the uh, the big auto attack. All right, can I take this? Oh, it's so close. I'll wait, I'll wait. We'll just dance, we'll just dance and chill. This is going better. Our chances are at 50% right now. I said if I got ahead. Late, late game with Soul Reaver. Things could go well, because if it goes defense, that'll actually hurt him. But getting there is difficult. I am so thankful that this Osiris did not go Runic Shield, because that item just destroys Guardians. It makes it more fun. So we both have a good chance of winning this, and it's fun. Instead of me basically just having to play back for eight minutes until I get some items. Which nobody wants to see. I hit the, the tiny minion whoops. Uh, oh yeah, Osiris has a... Uh, what's the word for it? Osiris has CC mini on the ground when he lands in his ultimate. It's so long. I always get caught off guard by that. How long the CC mini is. Also, you saw that I launched the minion backwards there. I was trying to hit Osiris, but I missed. I don't think Sunder would have killed. Sunder only does a percent of current health, so unless I had my ability, which I did not, but this will kill. Oh, unless you style on me. All right. Oh, I didn't even need my Sunder. I missed it anyways. <laughs> oh, I was going to Sunder to make sure my two killed, but I guess it didn't matter. The Bancroft's passive is too strong. That's a hot blink, though. I think I think I would have missed either way, but still a hot blink. I was getting a little greedy there because my passive was down, but I need a snowball. I need a big snowball right now. It's going way better than I thought. Oh no, there it is. There's the runic shield. Okay, if it's not first item, then I can live with it. Let's, well, blink. Yeah, well, yeah. Sprinter beads might be more useful, but worst case, I can use my ultimate as a beads for his stun. He's been using his three very much. And uh, I can also use my I can use my alt to get out. Oh, 
How are you taking these? We have a good good amount of damage right now. A really good amount of damage, actually. I can't wait until I get Polly. Well, I'm being slowed by quite a bit, though. Quite a big slow he has. Oh, I tried to turn it on him. <laughs> the reason I do that, by the way, is that the minion actually does more damage. I mean, it's literally, it's barely any more damage. It's a tiny bit more scaling, tiny bit more damage. But it is more damage, so if I do it correctly, it's it's worth it. It's not just for style points, but obviously style points are the main reason I do it. It's just there is a little bit of reason to it. I think you should only go for it if the minion's at, like, max range. Because that way you have time to aim. Because if it's, like, this far, you do not have time to properly aim. Have us to ping the map. There's a runic shield. Oops, I missed. Get out of his three, go back in. This is not the time to alt. We want to get him into our our tower before he ults, if he's going to. Alright, let's go back. You can just see how the Runic Shield really makes it turn fights. It's such a strong item. Okay, now we have cooldown. Oh, I got one ward. Our next item can be either Obsidian. Yeah. Obsidian goes well because Soul, Soul Reaver only does magical damage and without penetration at all it's mitigated, so I kind of need Soul Reaver. Poor Kumba Cardina can't build Demonic effectively. He can't build Spear of the Mages effectively. So his only real option is Obsidian. And, you know, Obsidian's my least favorite pen item. The changes that they're going to make for Season 7 look interesting. But I don't know how they'll actually work out. Oh, am I going to get stunned? Yeah. 179. Keep him up in the air during that. Oh shoot, that hit me. Get out, get out. Oh, I shouldn't have fought the potion. I have anti-heal right now. Oh my god. Oh, unlucky. If I saved my three for my passive, I still wouldn't have died, by the way. He has too much attack speed. Unfortunate. Uh, what can I get? What can I get? Staff? Is staff that good? I don't think it is, personally. Not on Kumba. Not on Kumba. I think, yeah, Obsidian. Obsidian, maybe a Divine Ruin, actually. Divine Ruin? Divine Ruin would give us some flat pen. But we both know he's going to get another defense item. So let's just stick with the plan, Obsidian. Stick with the plan. And then we'll get Soul, Soul Reaver. Because if I get Divine Ruin and then he gets double defense, all of a sudden I can't... All of a sudden, I'm doing no damage, and it's going to take another two items before I get my core items online. Whereas if I go Obsidian now, then we can get Soul Reaver right away. Oh, he has Execution. We need back up. He has Penetration now. We want him to Tower Dive us. We just... We maybe need to make ourselves look more vulnerable. That way he actually goes for it. Nah, he's not going to. Our blue buff's almost up. Ooh, nice. Too bad Glad Shield's healing him a good amount. Divine Ruin's worth it, obviously, but... It's not like Glad Shield's healing him as much as, like, Aussie would. Oh god, don't go for that. I will ult this. No! Just barely! I should've blinked. Should've blinked. Unfortunate. I was gonna blink. He's pretty low right now, actually, and I have my ult in 30 seconds, so I might be able to kill him. Okay, it looks like he's just ignoring me and going for buffs. Really? Really, that didn't get him? Really, really? Ok, 
Okay. 11 seconds, and we can probably kill him. Oh, but he has hastened effect. Okay, four seconds. Yes? Oh, good stuff. I wasn't talking much there because I had to focus. Good combo, good combo. Went in, yawned him immediately because I knew he didn't have beats and he wouldn't be able to do anything out of that. And uh, once I had him yawn, I could easily set up my Sunder Alt because if I went in and Sunder Alted him, he would have had some chance to try and... try and uh, do something. Try and react. But the blink yawn, he just did not have the time. Do I get this? I don't even think I get this. Do I die for this? I'm dying for it. Oh god, the minion! <laughs> the minion was in my way! Oh god, Osiris, we can talk. We can talk. Oh lord, he's faster than me. Why are you faster than me? I can see the runic shield on my, my little debuffs that he got in range. Okay, he gets red buff. That's okay. It was worth it. All right, we need obsidian. This will ward off the nightmares. Polly's a good option as well, but let's go sword over. And there's the double defense. I knew it. There's no issue with double defense, but I planned ahead. That's why I got obsidian. I've planned ahead, and everything's going to work out because of it. If he didn't go double defense, he would be actually being one shot. So he kind of had to. I put him in a position where he had to. Please leave the light with the build I was going and the character I'm playing. He had to do it, so now my sword is going to help out more. My obsidian is going to help out quite a bit. You know, my two is surprisingly good against Osiris. I was not expecting that. I Because I can root him and then get out of range of his, his uh, stun. It's surprisingly effective. I might just ult him here. Depends. All my abilities are surprisingly good against the stars. I really wasn't expecting that. I have a lot of minions here. We can take this. I have so many minions here. We can take this fight very well. Oh. Oh, shoot. I got greedy. I got greedy. I saw the end of the game near, and I went for it. However, I can still kill him. I can still kill him. I have my passive. I have my passive. Okay. Hold on. Oh. Please let me live. Oh, I tried using my three at the end. I would have died either way. <laughs> my three is only rank four, the amount of attack speed. I tried using it at the end. Uh, I don't know if you saw the animation of me using it, but it did not go off instantly. <laughs> I would have died either way though. I needed to yawn him before I went down on the ground while he was taking all the fire minion damage. I mean, either way, I'll take that fight. I'm happy with it. When I dove the Fallon and he didn't die, I was, it was pretty much guaranteed a lost fight. But I don't care. I don't care. Oh, you Talisman of Energy. Ooh. I'm actually, I'm a fan of that item. I'm a fan of it. However, how much health do you have? 2,500? Yeah, my Soul Reaver is going to annihilate you. Ooh, the Talisman of Energy. The reason I wake them up is because they actually get slowed and an attack speed reduction if you wake them up. If they wake up just by the timer, they don't get that debuff. Now, can I take this? I don't think I can, actually. But I might be able to kill him. Halt him. Oh god, don't ult me, okay? Go for it. No, I don't have an ability. Ah, oh, he blinked out. All right, whatever. Oh, my cooldowns are just barely screwing me over. Part of me wants to go Chrono's Pennant, but then I'll be overcapped once I get a, uh, once I get some. Oh wait, will I? Yeah, I will. I will be overcapped once I get my power potion. If I swap out Breastplate, then I won't be, but. You know, we we can wait to swap out boots. Yeah, chin size, that's a good item against me. 
have a lot of base health, even though I'm not building a single health item. It's still a good item. Uh, we could go... Well, I was going to say Midgardian, but no. That would give us too much health. Um, what would give us a little bit more cooldown, like 10%? Shamans? Shamans takes too long to stack. Uh, Relic Dagger? <laughs> give me Relic Dagger. No, it gives us health. I was going to meme with it, but it, I, I think it would have had some merit, but I don't think so. Let's go... Rod. I'll go Rod. There's not really a good cooldown item I can go right now. Because, eh, besides, once I have uh, once I have Power Push, I'll, have, I'll be at 30%, which is fine. I can switch Boots out for something that's 10%. But Rod will give us a good amount of damage right now. Dang, you have 2,800 health. How much does my Soul Reaver even do to you? Oh, if I can hit an ability. I was thinking about blinking over the wall and bopping him, but it would not have helped me at all. Oh, he's... What'd you sell? He sold your... Or what was it? I don't remember what item it was. His, oh, his Glad Shield. Oh, yeah, that would have been an item that I could got Divine Ruin. I'm glad I didn't get it, because he doesn't have any healing now. Ow. Why do you hurt me so? Okay, he's just gonna go back, so I can't even I can't even capitalize off that. Alright. Ending is gonna be difficult. I guess we could sell Okay, forget about cooldown. I'm throwing so many items out and that I am losing track of my mind. It probably drives you guys crazy, but obviously. But that was bad. The item we need is Polynomicon. We need the big item, alright? Because I guess it's not a matter of cooldowns, it's a matter of big poly shots. And mixed with upgrade thunder, could be good. Alright. So Soul Reaver hits you for a nice 296 for 4 Soul Reaver procs. That's nice, that's good. I believe I can get this Phoenix the same way I did last time. How did that not... Okay. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. I can't, can't go for it. Okay, he ulted out. We're fine. If I went for it and died, that would have. At this point, 21 minutes into the game, level 20, all this gold. If I die, I lose. So the goal is don't die. Simple as that. So if I kill him, yeah, that's great. But if I die too, I don't think it's worth. Well, I mean, I guess it's worth. Trading is worth. But if I die and he has a chance of living, no. Not at this point. Because Phoenix was targeting me. I don't have that much defense. I would have died. I would have been in sleepy mode and then he would have came and autoed me. Even with my three, he would have been able to kill me. Kumba passive is best against gods that don't get, don't build attack speed. Like mages... That's it. <laughs> it's a good against mages. Uh, I guess some guardians. But any other god, they're probably going to get a little bit of attack speed. And even mages will probably get attack speed, so... I don't know if it matters that much. Ah, I missed. I'm rusty with Kumba, man. This is a good game, though. It's a good game. It could go either way, because if he kills me, he gets Tower Phoenix possibly tight and he's back in the game. if i win i win the game so let's see just depends on who's gonna get this next fight this passive is down I'm going for it give him nowhere to run to got him i positioned myself on this side that way because i knew he was gonna ult out right that was his only option the other option he would have had is to ult the other way towards more danger I could have either, you know, waited for my blink to come up to chase him or just went straight for Titan and he would have had to run super far to get in a safe space to back. I would have been able to win. So it's pretty much a guaranteed kill there, which is great. Good stuff. Good stuff. That game went... My... I usually can judge a game 
relatively okay from the start, but Kumba versus Osiris, that is very different than I thought. If Osiris went Runa Shield, again, I appreciate him not going Runa Shield first, like first first item. I don't think I would have had much of a chance. I would have, it would have been a lot harder to get online. Late game would have been the same, but again, just getting there would have been a lot harder. So this matchup probably won't go like this every time. However, it was better than I would have thought because he'd still had Warrior's Blessing. So good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.